Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and welcome to my easy limbo guide where I'll be explaining the basics of limbo, how to use him and a couple of easy builds as well. Let's get right into it. First of all, what you need to understand about limbo is his ability to move between dimensions. Hitting shift allows limbo to move into the rift. While in the rift, limbo can only damage and be damaged by enemies within the rift. When moving into the rift, Limbo opens up a gate that allows allies to enter the rift for 15 seconds. Limbo himself can stay in the rift indefinitely unless he comes into contact with a nullifier bubble. Limbo's first ability, Banish, sends enemies or allies into the rift or out of it. An enemy will be knocked down when banished, providing the player an opportunity to perform a finisher move. A banished ally will regenerate 2 energy per second while in the rift. The ally can leave the rift by performing a roll. The second ability, Stasis, freezes all enemies in the rift for a duration. Casting Stasis before banishing enemies will freeze enemies in the knockdown animation. Stasis has diminishing effects when used repeatedly on sentience. Moving on to his third ability, Rift Surge. Rift Surge charges all enemies in the rift within a radius to be surged with rift energy. Upon exiting the rift, enemies affected by Rift Surge will perform a radial banish, causing them and enemies around them getting thrown back into the rift for a short period. This is great for keeping enemies in the rift for a longer time. Moving on to Cataclysm. Casting Cataclysm forms a sphere with a gradually reduced radius that allows access to the rift for all units on the battlefield. The idea is to shield the defense target with the Cataclysm Sphere, preventing it from getting hit by ranged units while you step out of the sphere to engage in battle. Whatever is within the sphere will be in the rift and whatever is out of it will not be. Two important things to remember about Cataclysm is that most Warframe abilities can be cast from within the sphere to damage enemies outside of the sphere. This allows allies to be completely shielded from damage while engaging in combat. The second is that the energy colour of the sphere matters. Using a colour close to black greatly improves visibility as opposed to a flashier colour. Let's move on to some practical uses for Limbo. The first is obviously in defence, mobile defence or excavation missions. Casting Cataclysm on the defense target and then Stasis will protect the objective and freeze any enemies entering the sphere, making these missions trivial. For defense missions where the objective is a moving target, banishing the target will achieve the same effect. In rescue missions, banishing your rescue target will make the target invulnerable and still allow them to follow you to extraction. For Kuva Siphon missions, Kuva Guardians will always stay out of the rift, even when they step in a Cataclysm Sphere, allowing you to ignore them for the entirety of the mission. For spy missions, casting Cataclysm in the Vault Rooms will destroy all cameras, which are able to detect Limbo even when he's within the rift. Once the cameras are destroyed, exiting Cataclysm and shifting into the rift will render all lasers useless against Limbo. In the Void, Limbo's Cataclysm is fantastic for breaking containers in large rooms to obtain Argon Crystals. Moving on to some simple builds, these are Limbo Prime builds that don't require Forma. Using regular Limbo, you'll need some Forma investment. For a range-focused build, Prime Continuity, Augur Message, Constitution and Narrow-Minded will all get the duration up to 306% making Cataclysm last for over 90 seconds, perfect for mobile defense missions. Augur Reach, Stretch and Overextended contribute to range, getting your Cataclysm to almost a 32 meter radius which is more than enough for any objective. Streamline can be replaced with Flow according to your preference. 
if you want Cataclysms to act as a defense bubble for your objectives and nothing else, then a minimum range build like this works well. Replace the range mods with Intensify, Flow and Vitality for stronger impact damage, more energy and greater survivability. And that's about it. Hopefully, this quick guide makes it easier for you to understand and play Limbo. As usual, hope this helped you out. This is The Faceless Beanie, signing out.